What's up, everybody? We're doing the Mystery Tackle Box unboxing today. This is South George Bassin. We have our Mystery Tackle Box. See, it's I've already opened it. See, Mystery Tackle Box. So you got your hashtag Happy Dance. Yeah, let's see what we got this year. It's gonna be kind of interesting. We got some Mystery Baits. We got a uh, Chatter Bait this time, which I've never gotten in Mystery Tackle Box. So this will be interesting, to say at least. So right when I open it up, it's looking good. How we open it up? No, let's look. We have the Reaction Strike Revolution Frog Popper. You know Reaction Strike? That's a pretty big brand. brand. So let's see. It's let's see. It's one half ounce, 2.5 inches long. Katana Katawa hooks. Tell um, tell me if that if I said that wrong. I don't know. And I seen on Bass Doctor. I'm guessing that's a TV show. I don't know how cable. So I'm guessing TV. Hope it's good. Okay. The Reaction Strike Re Revolution Frog Poppers, a unique lure designed by our pro staff in conjunction with our engineers, available in two great sizes and several ultra realistic colors. The Revolution Frog Popper is one of a kind largemouth bass catching machine. Well, that's kind of the same point as it. That kind of sounds pretty good right off the bat. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty good. Bass catching machine. So let me get this open. Okay. Good on reaction on reaction strike for making it easy to get out. First of all, because I hate taking ten minutes to get them out. But here it is. See, it's black. To me, it sort of looks like a mouse. It's got this rubber feeling, like this weird rubber feeling. It doesn't feel like like plastic fuzz. It's kind of like rubbery sort of. It's got two, well, two pretty good hooks. Real sharp. I mean, these are mega sharp hooks. Good on reaction strike. These are really good hooks. Kind of a kind of like a short kind of two tails behind them. They're kind of short. Not no big deal. A little popper frog. So that is good on reaction strike. You see, it's got a little. Oh, it's got red eyes on it and a little uh, red kind of a mouth. You know where it pops. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna put that over yonder. I've got the mystery tackle box sticker. I'm gonna be putting that on one of my tackle boxes. That's what I always do. Mr. Chatterbait, I was talking about. It's Buddha Bates Swagger Jig. 3 8 ounce swagger jig, and that, that's quite a name. So it's the, this jig was designed to be an all purpose jig. Swim it, skip it, or flip it, it doesn't matter. Like all Buddha baits, it puts them in the boat. And that just sounds good right off the bat too. It's, let's see, it doesn't say what color it is. Oh no, it's one half ounce and seen swim jig color dirty shanas. That's a weird name, but okay. Okay, let me take it out, it's a chatter bait. Take it out. And let me see. See, it's kind of like kind of greenish whitish with little black and brown specks all over it. See, it's got a little whitish grayish head on it. See, it's got a little fin with chatterbait. Hook on this thing is pretty daggone long. Um, yeah, it's pretty sharp too. Of course, these are probably since these are they've they never been used before, so that's probably why they're so sharp. Yeah, by Buddha Bates. Pretty good. Then let's see the fitness shroom med med rig jig head designed specifically for Elasta Z Tech baits. Baits. It is one and one and one tenth ounce. Okay, ideal for the Midwest style fitness applications, otherwise known as the net rig. Unique welded wire keeper designed to, to prevent baits from sliding down the hook shank. Incredibly easy to rig with a 10x tough elastic tech plastic super sharp premium black nickel hook. Okay, that sounds good too. Let me try and get this out. Actually, no, I won't be able to get it out. It's uh, it's in there. It'll take me a little while to get that out. So I'll just show you. See, right there, it's like a little, like a little flat head kind of a jig, and it's got. I can see where I was talking about where the weld is on it. I'll go ahead and take it out. Where the weld is on it. See, let me get it out. Okay, see? Yeah, that's pretty good. You see, that's where the little piece is right there where it keeps your bait from coming out. That's pretty good. That was Fitness Shroom. Shroom. I've never had used to that company, so I don't know. I'm gonna put that up. Okay, and then let's see what else. I got Mustad Fast at Clip with Swivel. Six pieces, six piece. 
sharp, strong, and dependable. All must add tradition meets technology to create the world's number one selling hooks, whether it's running pro, weekend anglers, fishermen all over 106 countries have counted on Mustad since 1877, not 19. So that's the that. It's about like a, I can't tell you. It's a clip with swivel. It's like a swivel with a clip. First I've seen that, but hey, it's first for everything, isn't it? Okay, so you see, I like these clips too. You see, it's kind of like a, kind of like a, yes, yeah, a swivel with a clip, basically, that explains itself sort of. See? See, I like the, like the clip that it has on. I got six of them. And I will be using that in the NTP Slam. So, wish me luck with that. Go to put that back where it came from and get what's next in the box. Okay. I got some more. Bait made attractive. Live game fish ultra concentrated formula. Improved adhesion for a prolonged potency. Increased scale fleck. Fleck. Okay. Amino acids to enhance scent. Okay, that sounds good. So that's what that bait is. Bait bait fish attractive. I got it not too long ago actually, so it's not like it's new. Then What's next? Also, the Baitmate came with a one dollar coupon for any Baitmate fish attractant formula. Formula. Okay. Then bruiser baits fish the best. It doesn't have anything on this. It just says it's made in the USA. So you know that's good. It doesn't have anything on this, so I'll probably end up. See, it's got two little swivel tails. See, it's kind of purplish with little blue kind of specks in it. That's pretty good. Let me get the card because I don't know anything about this bait. It does the same thing. Bruise baits. The action on these twin tailed trailers may be evil on bass, but they be an angle for you when you need sure thing bait. Okay. It uh, gave me about four. Is what it did. One, two, three. I think one, two, three, four. Yeah, it gave me four of them. So that's good. Bruise and baits. I, I don't think I've gotten bruise baits before. I think I might have. I don't know. Okay, then the last thing in her box is the Z-Man 10X Tough Elastic Tech. Now, the Hula Stick Z Canada Crawl. Now, everyone, have you tried the Ned Rig? Oh, yeah, I just had tried the Ned Rig. It gave me Ned Rig, so we use that. But I have, I've had problems with Z-Man's in the past. Um, here it is, like a stick bait with like a weird kind of like a kind of like a tube tail on it. Like, you know, tubes are kind of squiggly at the end. Well, that's kind of what it is. It's like a little tube. It's like a really long tube is what it looks like, a little bass fishing tube. But yeah, that actually looks like it gets fish. And you know, it's a last attack. That's good. Now, it gave me, let's see, one, two, three, four. It gave me four. Now, I know everyone's like, see, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I've had problems with these hands. Now, this might not be a problem for someone in northern states, but in Georgia, it's hot during the summertime. And the Z-Mans actually will melt. And if you put them, like, in your bag or your tackle box, and, you leave, and, you, like, and you're, like, on a boat, and you put it out in the sun, it'll actually melt the baits while it's in your tackle box. It'll melt them. And it also, like, if you're like me, and I'm cluttered, my tackle box is cluttered, and it's around the other, other kind of plastic baits, it melts all the plastic baits together. So it's like, what the heck? But that's... No, I was going to say that with Z-Man, just because you're thinking about getting them, that might sway your decision. I don't know. But yeah, um, besides the elastic, as long as you keep them out of the sun, they're the best baits I've ever had. As long as you keep them out of the sun, because the elastic, you can use them for forever. You just got to keep them out of the sun. Then, I've got my double digest. Let's see. Understanding the spawn of common game fish. Three basic techniques to catch more trout. That could be good. Then, okay, well that was everything. Let's look at the About Your Box. Um, Revolution Popping Frogs by the Jig. The, what I will do is I will calculate this really quickly and see what all it costs. Let's see, the Re Revolution Popping Frog is like an $8 frog. That is a lot of money. Just to put me is. So, a. Let's see, 6.29. Plus two point two nine plus so uh, we're already at eighteen point seventy eight and I paid like fifteen bucks for this box. We're already at eighteen dollars. We're not even we're not even close to eighty nine. Okay, plus two point nine nine plus two point 
3.00 plus 3.99. Okay, so the entire pricing of this box was 27.76 if I were to resale it right now. It would be worth 27.76 according to the About Your Box card. I paid $15 for that box. That is, let's see, that is about $12, right above $12 of saving. That is really good in Mystery Taco Box. I've, um, the highest I've ever been was like $20 of savings. I've got, I got like a box that was like worth $35 one time. So that was like my first box or second one. Yeah, that's still incredibly good. I mean, that's freaking good. But, okay. Well, that is everything. You see, it's got, looks like brownish straw, I guess. I thought, I heard that it was like, it resembles the time of the year that you get straw to put in there. But yeah. So that is good. And I'll be putting my mystery tackle box stickers on my tackle boxes. So, um, I might show you a picture sometime of my tackle boxes when I get them all done. I'll have mystery tackle box stickers on them. But yeah, tomorrow. Maybe you know not. Maybe not tomorrow. We'll soon. We will be having an MTV Slam. Hopefully, Dust will be here. Maybe he won't. He hasn't been here all week. And I've been talking to him though. He seems to be fine. Tomorrow we're going to try an MTV Slam with Dust and keep him out. And that's about it. Um, if we can't do it in the ponds around my neighborhood, I know, I'm close friends with a guy that has a private pond on a dirt road of ours. And uh, that, that pond is awesome when it comes to frogs and stuff, so I know I'll catch something off of frogs there. But yeah, so I think that's about it. So I'm going to close it. This is South Georgia Bass, and keep on fishing. Tell, hey, tell me in the comments what you got, what you think of Mystery Time Box this time. I, personally, I thought it was good. It, and I'll see what Dustin thinks, and maybe I'll leave it in the comments. But yeah, okay, see ya. South George Baxton out. Daniel signing out.